everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to share with you my Walmart haul. I am going to be moving here in just a couple of days. I grabbed some snack items and things for the road and I thought I would share them with you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing is this box. I am going to ship another box to my daughter. I just don't have a whole lot of room in my car. If you're new here, I am moving halfway across the country. I'm only packing what will fit in my car, and so everything else I've shipped to my daughter. And excuse me if I'm out of breath, I just lugged all these groceries in. <laughs> so I will be shipping her one last box. So um, also, well, for the trip, for the trip I grabbed some Coke Zero. This is a six pack of bottles. Figured this would be really easy to have. Plus I don't drink soda very fast and it tends to go flat. Um, it might take me one day to finish one bottle. So, but it's cheaper to buy it by the six pack. So that's what I got. Um, I did grab some almonds. Now my daughter is deathly allergic to nuts and this is my very last chance to have nuts. And so I did get a bag of almonds. I will throw these away before I even leave the hotel, I will wash my hands, brush my teeth, wash my face, all the things before I head to see her. But I love nuts and um, I'm going to eat some before I make it there. For snacking, I also got some granola bars. It's just the Walmart brand. There's 12 here and this is chocolate chunk. And for dinner, so um, while I'm on the road, um, I will eat breakfast here at home the first day. I will stop and um, and get gas, but I have stuff to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with already. So that will be lunch on day one. Dinner is going to be this Uncle Ben's ready rice. So the hotel that I'm staying in does have a microwave. And then the next morning for breakfast, um, or even, well, for a snack in the evening, I grabbed some chamomile tea because, again, there is a microwave in the hotel room. For breakfast the next morning, I'm going to have oatmeal, and I grabbed two of these. These are quite small, only 160 calories a piece. So two strawberry and cream. You just add water, pop it in the microwave, good to go. For snacking, some sweet and salty kettle corn. I love kettle corn. It's my favorite. Um, to clean up and wipe surfaces down before I touch them, I grabbed a small thing of Clorox to bring with me. And these last couple days, um, I will need a couple rolls of toilet paper, so I did grab another one of these for here. And some coffee creamer for here at the house before I go and to take with me. I go through a lot of this. You're probably thinking, gosh, I just saw a haul and you had two of these. Yes, I know. It's a problem, but I like a little cream with the coffee. So I got this. I figured I will take this on the road with me. Um, also for snacking, I got some of these veggie straws. This is the Zesty Ranch. So these are vegetarian, not vegan. Um, okay, so aluminum foil. This is a lot of alumin aluminum foil. I've got um, two of these heavy duty aluminum foils. And you might ask yourself why in the heck, if you're moving, do you need aluminum foil? Well, let me tell you, I am staying in a hotel with my cat and I suspect my cat's going to be really scared. She's never traveled before. The only place she knows is home and the vet. That's it. And to prevent her from getting underneath of the bed, I don't know if the beds have, um, you know, an underneath that she could get to. So I am going to wrap the bed <laughs> in the hotel room with a aluminum foil or if there is like a dresser I will do the same thing because what I don't want her to do is get herself stuck underneath of somewhere that I can't get her out of and then have a hard time leaving the next morning so I figure I will just block anything off with aluminum and she will not touch it. She won't even go near it. So that's the plan for the aluminum foil. If you have ever traveled with pets, and especially ones that are scared, how did you prevent them from going under the furniture in hotel rooms? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so also for the kitty, I got this uh, pooper scooper for the litter box. Um, it was a dollar. I figure I could throw it away, not take it in the car with me. Um, she will probably not use the litter box while we're traveling, just when we stop at the hotel. 
And then to put the poop in and uh, pee from the kitty litter, um, I got a few, got some of these small uh, little trash bags um, to put that in. And then packing tape for the box um, that I'll mail to my daughter. And then I also grabbed another packing tape to t so that I can tape the aluminum foil to the bed. I don't know if that's necessary, but I want to have it just in case. I did get this little scrubby brush before I leave my current place. I am going to wipe down all the walls with uh, diluted pine saw. And if there are any stuck on little spots, I will use this little scrubby brush to clean it off. I um, want to make sure that I leave it, leave this place in pretty good, uh, pretty good shape. And then last is a can of no salt added French style green beans. This is for my puppy. He gets uh, wet food with green beans um, per the instructions of our vet. So that is everything. These are my snacky foods. I will go the night before and get a big bag of ice that I will throw in my freezer so that I can, I'll get gas the night before. That way I can load everything up the night before and the morning and then head out and not have to stop. So this is a lot of junk food. I realize that, but I figure it's better than stopping at the gas station and buying a bag of chips. That would be really expensive and uh, not really in the budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching and down in the comments, make sure to let me know what your favorite snacks are when you're traveling. Thanks again and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye!